So, let's do something interesting here uh, for a change. We will take the body now and start to make it uh, better. So, for chase flat to see what's happening, then go to sculpt mode. By the way, mm, I would like you to share on the comments if you have control tab like this sculpt mode down, object mode left, edit mode right. And don't uh, write in the comments if you have this. If you don't have this, if for example your edit mode is on the bottom here and your uh, sculpt mode is on the, the place of the weight band or something different, tell me about it because uh, there is one guy who told me that his uh, menu is his pie menu of control tab is different than mine which i'm like what and uh, he told me that he's with blender 3.1 but i installed blender 3.1 on my laptop just to see if it's true and on my laptop everything worked like like here so yeah and i was like why should they change the positions of the things in the pie menu. This is completely un... I, I don't know. But uh, whatever. Yeah, because you have uh, one kind of a workflow and everything. And by the way, Blender tend to do that, I think. So that's a little bit confusing about Blender. They tend to do this kind of things. Changing shortcuts from version to version. Changing the way thing works. And it's um, annoying. With the normal softwares, you b rarely b will see some things like this. But since Blender is free, they, they can do whatever they want and you cannot complain. Which is annoying. I mean, yeah. But this is the price of the free software. There is a price, after all. But it's kind of a nice. I mean, I don't uh, hate it. It's fine. So, what I uh, need to do now is probably separate the nails. Why? Because later I will need to make a vertex paint of the nails. And I told you that I like to make every item with vertex paint a separate object. Which means, since the nails will be kind of a blackish, they need to be a separate object than the body. Uh, at least that's my idea. We'll see. Now... Here, by the way, I can try to turn on Dynopo. What? But this Dyn... Why? It's changing. Hmm, I don't know. But uh, I will add some polygons in here. And move this inward. Shift, add polygons and move it. It doesn't work like charm. Like intended. Inflate. Yeah, inflate and smooth sometimes are adding polygons, sometimes are not. I mean changing the polygons. But whatever. Doesn't matter that much. So this video I plan to make it a little bit longer. Because, yeah, there will be too much uh, video after video after video. And we have a lot more videos to go. I mean, uh, we have... Kind of uh, the whole retopology thing will take a lot of videos. It will take like probably five hours at least, if not more, which will be like 10 videos. So I will try to do it faster, of course, but it's not about that. I mean, I cannot do it faster because it's it takes time. It just takes time. So since I'm in sculpt, sculpt mode, I can start to mask the nails and kind of uh, try to separate them or yeah there are probably other ways of separating them but i will separate them with mask the other way of course is to go and uh, separate them from the edit mode which also is kind of possibility selecting the polygons directly mm, and also i'm sure there are other ways which i haven't explored yet but this way with the mask, that's how I separate things in, uh, in ZBrush. So I'm used to this. And yeah, of course, this probably is not exactly the best way. But if you know a better way, you of course will do it 
So yeah, not every step I do in this course, uh, which is not exactly a course actually, but it's something like a course. It's definitely a course. It's a uh, it's exactly like my courses. Uh, the only difference from my courses is that this is completely free. There is not other difference. And probably I will not make a promo of this one <laughs> since uh, I will not sell it, most likely. They will not give me the permission to sell it. Otherwise, I would. Mm, yeah. No, I mean, it will be free on YouTube. But if they give me a permission, I will also pack it as a course and I will sell it probably on Udemy. With the disclaimer that it's free on YouTube. But whoever wants to support me, you know, I don't mind. It's always a possibility that someone will just want to give their appreciation. I know I would probably because you know, it's a it's a it's a work. It's a work to create something like that. Now I have the nails. Mm, this nails I didn't uh, have because the symmetry was not um, on, but I don't care. Now, I will extract them, mask extract, which I cannot do, which is pretty interesting. I will disable dino topo. Let's see, mask extract now is on. Now, we cannot, we can't extract it. I don't know why we couldn't extract it, and now we can, but it doesn't matter. Now we have this. These are our nails. What I will do is, I will go to edit mode, press A and then F to cap them. Now, you will notice they have caps, which I think is good. Now, uh, we'll go to, uh, to scope mode again, and then I'll control R. Let's dial it down, control R, no, dial it down shift r and then control r and this i can probably work with then i will go to some other brush and start smoothing i will go here and inflate this back area to add more meat in here because we will need it and probably with g i will move it a little bit inward with the grab brush and then we'll have to go to the body itself and uh, move a little bit the things there but that's life that's definitely life here i don't care that they're connected uh, because i will move them in and then i'll probably inflate them at some point so they definitely will be kind of connected or not definitely but it will be easier if they are closer together and uh, kind of touching each other because then I will surround them more easily with polygons when I do the low poly. And again, I'm thinking about the low poly, as you can see, because it's it's inevitable. If I wouldn't do a low poly, if I do only for presentation, for a picture, uh, just for still picture, it will be much easier. But if I do this for a game like I'm doing it now and for real game, it's not the imaginary game. This is for absolutely for real. This this shit is for real. I mean. Yeah, uh, you may be thinking this is a joke, but this character is for a real game, and if I don't do it as good as I have to do it, I'll be fired, you know? So it's it's like that. No, it's not that bad. I mean, they will probably say, okay, he has uh, some issues with the war in Ukraine, probably he has depressed depression and everything, so maybe they will forgive me for one or two characters, but if I start doing badly, if I if my performance f kind of falls, um, at some point I will be person uh, which nobody wants. I will be unwanted, uh, which is kind of sad. Okay, now I will invert the mask, and I will smooth those, kind of to get them to go inside a little bit, and maybe move them even inside like this. And here on the fingers too, smooth them. And when you smooth something which is kind of low poly, it goes kind of shrinks. It goes shrinks. <laughs> it goes shrinks. Gold shrinks is nice. 
Uh, okay, now what I will do is I will go like this, which means I will disable my masks, hopefully, yes, ah, no, I reverse the mask, so I will disable the mask with A, this area, so it's kind of fine, but I will smooth it a little bit more probably, and here too, um, no, I don't like it, so I will smash this, at least I will try. By the way, let's try with Dinopo, Dinotopo, and just, yeah, like this. Yeah, this works in ZBrush too, by the way, with, how is it called then, I, in ZBrush, I forgot how exactly was this called. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Sculptris Pro, I think, yeah, Sculptris Pro mod. Dinotopo. Here is Dino Topo, there is uh, Sculptor's Pro, it's okay. So I think this is kind of fine. And I will disable Dino Topo. I will go to Symmetrize, plus X to minus X, Symmetrize, and let's see. Yeah, baby. No, it's it's okay, we we did it. I may say yeah, baby. Why, why don't I say yeah, baby? It's, yeah, baby, it's fine. So again, here, uh, Symmetrize with the same uh, plus x to minus x, because this is plus, this is minus. So, if you have worked here, and you want to copy it here, it will be minus to plus. But uh, you can try it, of course. If it doesn't work, uh, minus to plus, control Z, and then try it again. It's easy. No worry. Everything is easy. So now, this uh, stage of the model, when I reach it, I usually kind of start to uh, be afraid. Why? Because I don't like to make details, I don't like to, you know, to detail the models, to make them better and stuff. Uh, this is not my passion, let's say it. I do it because it's my work, of course, my job, but I don't completely like it. When I start doing it and I'm listening to some music or podcast or something, it's like floating, and also the retopology is kind of fine, although I hate retopology like most uh, 3D artists, but, you know, it's inevitable. And at some point you started to, to like it because retopology doesn't require too much thinking, especially if you are, are used to do it. If you used to do it in with your tools, if you are very, very uh, good with the tools, so you have to practice a lot before, and... After you practice a lot, it will be pretty easy. And uh, it will not require you to think about it too much. Uh, okay, symmetrize. Now I will turn on the symmetry because I'm sick of this already. And yeah. Then you can even listen to audiobook without any issue. I'm also, you notice I'm speaking as I work. So I can think about other things than the work. And it's very, very nice because this is uh, very cool. If you are an accountant, if you are a programmer, if you are a game designer even, you cannot do this. But if you're an artist, even to the artist, you can do it. You can think of other things and work, which is great. Most uh, professions cannot do this, but we can do this, and that's that's very nice. Especially if you know what you're doing and you know your tools, you know your uh, your program. It doesn't require you to read things or something uh, to concentrate. You just do your job, work, make. Uh, especially if you are a 3D character, like me, because you are working on a concept, you don't have to think that much. You just have to do the concept. Sometimes you have to think how to do certain things as in the concept, which is okay. But most of the time, you just do it. Especially if you have a nice concept. It's just uh, the work is just a walk in the park, you know. It's very, very easy, very relaxing. And as I told you, I usually, when I work for my work, when I don't do courses, because when I do courses, obviously, I cannot listen to podcasts or do some other things because I have to speak constantly. And I do that in my courses. I always speak. I don't shut up in 
just for a, no, maybe for a second I shot it like this. Yes, but other than that, I speak all the time, which is I have this kind of a phobia to not speak when I do courses because I've I, I say it every time I I do courses and I've I've watched a lot of courses before I be, became as good as I am now, which is not the best, by the way. I can be better. This is not the best version of myself, but yeah, since I'm four years old, hopefully I have time. Uh, but the idea here is that I, I have watched courses and uh, the best courses are those that the, the guy who make the course, he doesn't shut up. He speaks all the time and that's the idea that I have. Because otherwise it's boring and I don't like to be boring. So now, this is our model, this is our body the body and what I will need to do now is to remesh it. Let's try that. So uh, remesh it with symmetry, the count, let's try 3000 and remesh it. We will wait a little bit and I told you about this stage where I have to put details, I have to prepare this for low poly and then for baking. This stage is uh, the not so pleasant for me. Let's say that, but th that's me. Some people like this stage more than the initial stage of making the character, which is okay for them, of course. For me, not so much. <laughs> He's very nice, by the way, the Diaz and everything, it's amazing. I like it. All right, now we did this. What we have to do now is add a multi-resolution modifier, subdivide a few times, then go to object mode, and we have to find our body, which is this cube. I don't know why it's a cube, but whatever. And then go, of course, to our shrink wrap modifier, select the cube. This is not the way. Select the cube. You can select it from here and it should work. Yeah, it's working, basically. Basically, it's working. now. Of course, on the strip wrap modifier, we have to go to wrap method project and then negative to add negative and it will be fine. Of course, let's subdivide one more time. It's starting to look nice and I will apply the shrink wrap modifier and go to scope mode and continue from there. I will have to apply symmetry, smooth some things, do some interesting areas. Now we have 3000 polygons, which is 300,000, not 3,000, 300,000, but it's okay. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's okay. Uh, the wrong thing about this model that I kind of, uh, I always say uh, to people, watch references. And when somebody show me something for feedback, I say, okay, tell me what was your reference. Uh, I didn't use reference, yes. It seems like you didn't. That's why your model is not good. If you have used reference, you would know that this, 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 this is not like that. Okay. I will subdivide one more time just to see what happens. But yeah. So use references. I My mistake here is I, I didn't use any references for the body because I have a concept and the concept artist has prepared everything. He made his probably research and he made it look nice so it's good but if i use some references i would make a better fat body than without references that's absolutely obvious for everybody but uh, most people don't use references especially especially uh, young artists uh, beginners they tend to not use reference the most more experienced artists, they know that if they want to achieve a great piece, a nice uh, work, they have to use references. And they use them, of course. When I want to uh, achieve like 120% of my uh, potential, I definitely use them, references. But now, I 
probably don't want to achieve that much of a big result, so I don't use reference. I'm not proud of myself for that, but yeah. There are worse things, like the war in Ukraine. I cannot stop thinking about that. I mean, it's so awful. You know, at some point you are walking and uh, everything is okay. You're going to the store, you're buying food, you go home, you cook. I don't cook, by the way, but whatever. If you cook, you cook. I just make sandwiches for myself because my wife also don't cook. So she just cooks uh, some salads for herself, which I don't mind. For me, um, cooking at home is uh, not mandatory at all. I'm, I'm fine. I make myself sandwiches and I eat and I'm completely okay with that. Some people are like, oh, how... Oh. The woman should cook, and uh, I don't mind. I don't. My personal preference. There are much, much more important things that that the woman should be able to do. I mean, like what? She should be taking care of the, the things. I mean, um, for example, the the kindergarten of uh, of the kids and some other stuff that needs to be taken care of. Those kind of things. Of course, I do them too. But yeah, these days, it's not like old days. A woman sits here and watches for, uh, I mean, watches the fire and cooks the meat that I bring from the hunt. No. These days, she works, I work. She go buys uh, groceries, I do the same. And uh, yeah. Everybody does the job. I clean with the vacuum cleaner. She doesn't. Yeah, only I clean with the vacuum cleaner, but that's okay. Because the vacuum cleaner is kind of a powerful and it requires meant strength. But who washes the dishes? Not me. But who makes the bed? I do this. But who throws away the garbage? We both do it. So you see, it's about, yeah. So family counseling, uh, three o'clock Monday. You can come and uh, I will counsel you about your family matters. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's go to the legs. I mean, the, the hands are relatively fine, although we can Add a few more polygons in here. And yeah, I like it. Not I like it, but uh, in our game, since it's kind of stylized, we like to have this kind of a bony, bony fingers, we may say. A little bit more bony. Maybe here I will add these things, which is not at all mandatory. But for the nails, we also should add something, but we'll see. So here we are fine. Here we have kind of nice thing. Of course, if we want to be more stylized, I will just sharpen a little bit this with the pinch brush. And here also a little bit more pinch on some areas. Those mm, things, probably I will get a feedback about them, but whatever. It's not a problem to get a feedback. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier with two and probably nails will have nice thing. Okay, this. Okay, four will be fine. And we'll continue on the body here. So for 24 minutes, we have done almost nothing. We are just refining. And that's why I don't like this stage that much. Because it's not... Uh, we are not advancing visually that much. We are doing things that are necessary in order to make a nice model for a game. But we are not advancing. It seems like we are done doing nothing. And that's uh, bugging me a little bit. 
I don't like it. By the way, let me inflate a little bit here and smooth. Yeah, we need to probably uh, retopologize the nails too. Why, you will ask. But why? But, but Nico, why, you will ask. I know. That's a very good question. And the answer is that uh, you see those kind of things. I cannot smooth those. I mean, I go to the nails and I try to smooth this, but it's pretty difficult. I cannot smooth those. Because the polygons there are kind of a messed up. If we were to apologize, the, the polygon flow will be much better and we will be able to smooth them much nicer, which is why we were to apologize before the low poly even. This is why we were to apologize the high poly, because we want a cleaner mesh. That's the idea. If you don't know about it, yeah. Most of you probably already know, because we already always do that. And if you have watched my courses, we always do it in ZBrush and in Blender, it's the same. I mean, the workflow here is not super different than ZBrush. It's pretty close. And yeah, my workflow, I don't know the other people's workflow. I'm not sure about uh, that, but probably kind of similar. But there are not too many professional artists working in the game industry who are making their entire kind of characters in Blender. Uh, at least I don't know that that people, I mean, yeah. That are actively working in the industry. There are people that are making courses about Blender, but are they working with Blender if they have to do a freelance or something? Probably yes, probably yes. But we cannot be sure. With me, you can be sure because obviously I'm working in Blender. And this is Blender. What? Yeah, I know. Uh, sometimes, I mean, here in the bottom, I don't care. It could be like this, it could be whatever. So I will go to the nails. Uh, let's go about 150 and remesh it. Come on, remesh it. Let's wait a little bit. And soon we'll have a remeshed probably. I, by the way, <clears throat> when I was doing, let me show you something. This head, I was doing it and I wanted to make, this is just for practice again for my course, uh, for the next course. So I, I was trying to do the, the eyebrows and I masked and then remeshed, which was not exactly, uh, and I remeshed on a hundred and it remeshed it a little bit. I waited a little bit, but yeah. Let me show you the, the previous one. This was... Yeah, I'm just practicing for the body, for some, you know, things. It's uh, it's starting... I'm starting to get it already. Yeah, because, you see, I told you, probably, but uh, I don't know if you remembered, but when I'm not practicing anatomy, female anatomy, I kind of start f to forget it. And I can do a decent body, female body, but I have forgotten the measurements and which to which, how many heads is the whole thing and, uh, you know, those kind of things, which are important if you want to teach anatomy. That's why I am uh, kind of making this practice sessions and people are asking me, when will be released your new course? I haven't even started recording it. Uh, partially because I'm recording this thing and partially because I am practicing still and I think I'm not exactly completely ready. Yeah, you can probably see the the result that I've shown you just uh, one minute ago and you would say, but it's, it's very nice. Yes, I can do a nice model, but it doesn't, ma doesn't mean that I can explain how to do it. That's the different difficult part and that's why I'm training for. I'm training to be able to explain it. Uh, yeah, I just want to be a better teacher. That's that's all. And some of you will say uh, right away, but Nico, you're the best. I know. I know. But still, I have a lot more to learn. Why? Because sometimes I don't speak 
very clearly first. Second, my thought is going from this to this to this to this, and sometimes I didn't finish my sentences, which happens because I hear myself, yeah. And the nails are kind of ready. I like them. All right, the body is kind of ready. I like it. Here, I will in kind of inflate the glove. I have to see if at some point, yeah, here also, will inflate the glove, no worry, or just move it. Here, I don't need this space between this and this. So what I will do is, let's see. This will be hard, but let me try to disable this. Go tab and press control here and try to move this down a little bit. Just like this, maybe a little bit more. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it's going inward, which is good. Here, also, I don't like this. So I will go with scope mode and move this down like this. We don't just we don't need to put polygons there uh, inside between those. They will not be visible. I mean it's it's just not you. So you will see, but this becomes very very thick. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. It will not be a problem when we do the low poly and the baking and everything, it will be even better. Yeah, stylized characters, important. And also, this kind of things are good also for 3D printing, if you do this. If you don't have very thin uh, things. Yeah, I will probably go like this a little bit, just to kind of make it not so pronounced. That it's so thick. So I made it a little bit thinner, which is good. I made a little bit of a silhouette there. Fine, looks good. Now, most of the things are okay. See, here on this thing, I need to put some battle damage, but let's... Let's go there and disable subdivisions, press like this. Okay, uh, if I need to do a battle damage, I probably will need a little bit more polygons in here. So I will add like this and like this. I need them to be mostly squarish polygons. Yeah, they're not exactly square, but yeah. Let's try to do a battle damage. Oh, here also, I may add few polygons, but I will have to inflate this a little bit, oops, and this one too, scale, I'm not inflating, I'm scaling basically, so let's see what happens, tab, scope mode, okay, here I will apply this Apply this, the subdivision modifier, then multi-resolution, and then unsubdivide a couple of times. Like, we probably will do that at some point with everything. Mm, yeah, this takes time. Probably will crash. Hopefully will not crash, but if it, if it crashes... Yeah, it's a pretty big mesh, that's why it's a problem. And my computer started to... do some strange noises. But it's okay. Come on, and subdivide. It's not that hard. I mean, I can subdivide it uh, just, you know, by head. By head. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, of course. This requires a computer to do. How many polygons are here? Okay, a million vertices, which is amazingly small. Let's try something. Just add a little battle damage like this. Why don't we? Ah, it looks nice. Yeah, because this kind of thing is his weapon, and he probably got some kind of nice fights with it, and they have probably hit him at some point, so it will have a decent battle damage. 
which is great. Uh, hopefully, the lead artist will kind of approve this. Otherwise, it will be pretty difficult for me to get back. But I may go to my previous file, since I, since I have a previous file. And unless at the end of this video, I kind of save on the same file. And then it will be bad. But I have a... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I made it, by the way. No, this this I don't like. I will control Z a couple of times, hopefully. There will be enough under levels. By the way, ZBrush is very famous with these under levels, which are unlimited, kind of. They are a little bit limited, but not too much. So, yeah, that's very cool. Uh, here you can, of course, increase the, the under levels, which is great, but they never can be... They never will be as the ZBrush. And that's good about the ZBrush. But it's not free. That's bad about the ZBrush. We like free things, you know. I like free things. I like free things. Yeah, I said it. I like it. Sorry. So how much time? 36. All right. Now this thing here. Oh, it... Oh, nice. I made almost everything the same geometry, which is great. So we don't need to do this multi-res for the rest. Let's see, by the way, this guy. How much? Three levels. Ah, this is only three levels. Okay. They're separate meshes. We can... It, not separate meshes, but they should be probably separate meshes. We can separate them easily at some point. All right, let me see. Now the body is multi-res, the nails are not, they are just subdivision, but it's okay. It's okay, we will, let me just, let me just do something. Okay, I put the concept here. Uh, the idea here is, what I wanna do now is put a little bit of vertex color. So I go to the body and since it has multi-res, the vertex color, will be on the lowest subdivision. So while I'm working on it, I will see a vertex color. But when I go to another mesh, I probably will not see a vertex color anymore. At least I think that that's how it works. We'll see. So there is a way, I think. We'll see. So I will select the body. Oops, not like this. Then control tab and go to vertex paint. Okay. Now, uh, can we... It's interesting. Can we select a color from an image? So if I put, not like this, I will go to, let me go to object mode and just paste an image here. Okay. This is the image. If I am able to select colors from this, pick them up, it will be great. Let's try. So I'll select, go to vertex paint with control tab then select the picker from here and pick this color yes amazing so i don't need this i picked this color and now i will go to paint set vertex colors and this will be this color of course it's um, not exactly the best so i will increase <coughs> make it more light we don't need it that you know set versus color since most of my Object will be one vertex color. It is okay. Now I will select this color here. By the way, can I do it with S or C or what? S, yes. So while I'm over the, over the color, I can press S. And you see, I've selected the color. So I will go now with Alt Q to the nails. And you see that, uh, yeah, set vertex colors. And we have this. There will be dark. Okay, no, don't worry. I mean, it's okay. Now I will press S on this kind of a little belt here. I will make it a little bit more lighter because I don't need it to be that hard. I will go here and set vertex colors. And here we can go to vertex. And yeah, now we see it in the upper part here when you have the viewport shading and stuff. I was on material. We can go to vertex. And we will be able to see uh, the pants. 
let's try to select one color here and go to the pants and fill them Pant. shift k is the shortcut to, to to fill with vertex color but the shift is okay but k is too much away and i will break my uh, hand to push it all the time so i don't want to do this i will select now this same color and make the belt the same color like this it's too dark in my opinion but why it's too dark because when i select this color here like this with s i'm selecting the color with the shading which is uh, kind of not good so i have to go here select flat and then i will select the color now and i will fill and it will be the same color and that's a little bit uh, annoying but yeah we'll set this one let's select this and set this color to on this one too very nice i'm starting to like that let's select let's say this color here let's press s this and make it lighter i don't want it to be that hard and start filling fillings let's select this color this is nice fill this fill this and the glove itself will be this color again something maybe a little bit darker yes and the other will be the color of the belt the other glove uh, okay color of the belt i said thank you mm, by the way the color of the belt hmm, this this little thing here will be a little bit darker version of this same color yes this on the arm here will probably be let's paint it with the dark one and uh, we'll see later so the caps of the bottles here they are the same ah uh, they are the same the same object which i don't like we'll have to change them but uh, whatever first i will select this color then go to this belt and fill it with this color and this belt probably will be the same uh, we'll see they always will can change it so it doesn't matter that much i will make this lighter and then i will go to this one and yes fill it and by the way this color and this color are different so i will select this one and fill the glove with it yes this is more like it and i will select now this one and just fill this area here and since we have a pretty thick border the the border between the colors will not be as visible which is great and we can just fill it a little bit and of course i can select this one and fill like this and it's fine it's not the best it's not the worst it's fine okay now we will select this color. by the way those are not fi the final colors after we go to, to substance painter everything could change and probably will but uh, for now let's select this kind of color why not this will be our metal the the chain and uh, probably this guy okay so for this the whole thing mm, the problem is that i have made everything almost everything a same mesh which i have to kind of redo especially those uh, 
things here. So I'll have to check out the concept and kind of uh, separate some things. Yeah, basically. So the belt buckle, I will make the same metal because it's the same metal. That's why. And probably this, not this, this thing here will be the same metal. And here, probably this also will be the metal itself. So those will be kind of greenish. So I will select this color. Fill. Nice. Not the best, not the worst. Let's uh, select the, the face and make it the same color as the body. And probably, of course, we can make some things on the face. We'll see. Let's select the hair and make it this kind of color bluish yeah that will fix it i mean uh, the texture artist will take care of this so we don't have to exactly so the teeth i will leave them white for now the the eyes if i can select them which i can but i'm not sure i selected them whatever i will try to paint them yellow no Okay, I did select them now. Yes. Yellow. Pretty nice. So the inner part here will be kind of a dark this color. But not so dark. I don't like anything to be very dark here. It's looking bad if it's very dark. Not in this stage. But when we go to material, it will look pretty, pretty bad. So I'll select this one and it so basically when we put vertex core now it looks a little bit interesting a little bit better here on the glasses uh, since this will be a different material we have to put a different color than the others so i will select this color and i will fill it but it's if it's too close to those colors here i will not uh, have it so i will probably need more reddish and fill it but it's not very different from those cores, so I have to make it a lot different. Yes, like this. Why? Because it will be much easier to select it afterwards. This guy here, I will make a little bit more different than this one. So I will select this one and go more orange. Hopefully I will not make it as this one, so... It's very, very similar to this. I don't like that. So I will make it more yellow. Hopefully we don't have exactly this color and this color. They're pretty different, so it's okay. Yeah, you see? Now, I probably will select this and paint it with those colors. This I will paint it with this colors, come on. And this guy here I will paint it with this kind of dark color. It seems fine. And we we'll select this and paint it with this greenish color. And the, the thing here, it will be kind of a... Oops. Kind of a this color. Not. The hair, by the way, I think it could be also brownish, but I don't care that much. I mean, it's. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. Let's see what we have done. Matte cap. Ah, looks interesting. Although a little bit too dark. But as I told you, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I have to do now is make the bottles green, but the bottle caps, I have to separate them. And uh, are they separatable? Let's go to object mode, select them, edit mode, and then press L and L. Yes, they are separatable. So I will just right click separate selection. Now there are separate selections. I can go to vertex paint and kind of try to paint the bottle caps with some kind of color like this but lighter yes so 
no. I'll have to Alt Q select them and now this. And now the bottles green. Maybe the same green as the glasses, why not? For now. No, I don't want the same green. I need another green. It will be better. They will have uh, their own material, which is great. Now this thing, I will paint it green again. And I'm not sure exactly about the colors here. Because I don't think we have them. Yeah, we don't have colors for this thing. But I imagine this is green and the other parts are kind of like the glasses. Some kind of a color like the glasses, I'm not sure. Yeah, 15 minutes is this video. Uh, yeah, but in the next video, obviously, we have to take care of the vertex color a little bit more. But it looks relatively nice. Cavity, if we put cavity. And if we put some shadow. Too much luck will occur. So let's go to object mode and just move this back. We don't need it anymore that much. Or at all. But we will need it just for this thing. We'll see. And the next video, hopefully, I will be able to make the, the vertex paint of the weapon. And we will be almost ready for action. Okay? Alright. I will hide this, by the way. Where is it? Okay, this is the empty objects here. It's right. Okay. Looks decent. See you in the next video. Yeah, it's starting to to look interesting when when we have color on it. Even if everything is just a flat color, it's still kind of nice. Great. Bye.